hi guys welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial I will show you how to make this pipe spool in the assembly with the three parts only one flange one pipe and the one elbow as you can see here we have the item total five but uh, in a sub -assemb in assembly I have used three components one elbow one pipe and the one flange this pipe and this pipe I have used the configuration uh, I will show you in the model it is in this tutorial how to make this one and how to remove this part numbers as we don't need the part number for this pipe spool as it don't have any feature like cuts or anything else it's a just straight pipe without any feature just we need only the cut length for this the actual cut length all right so this is the layout it will be something like that it is just a simple pipe spool only all right so let's start okay so in this assembly we will just use three components one pipe which i already created pipe three inch and a slip on weld flange and the one 90 degree elbow one two three components so let's start here i have already create one pipe all right three inch pipe 500 length and uh, use the two chamfers here for the welding purpose let's create open assembly just insert this pipe here now open this flange go to assembly insert this flange let's add some mate coincidence drag and we make here 10 mil offset top coincident now let's add the elbow insert elbow drag here somewhere and rotate component as you desired here Now also add some meat two millimeter root cap. Okay. This top uh, front plane of this elbow may coincident with top plane. Okay now get this pipe again <coughs> right now it is the same length but uh, I will show you how to make the different length in the configuration two millimeter root gap again okay we don't need to make the coincidence with the top as this is a fully rounded but we need the all mate for this elbow to fix this rotation rotate let's add. type here rotate rotate hold this option here with the mouse left button and drag here so it will come here position like this add some mate root gap again distance 2 mil now select this front plane of the elbow and make coincidence with the top plane all right now again drag this pipe just select this pipe and hold the control key 
and drag with the mouse now do it again concentric mate root cap 2 mm root cap now this flange we need this flange at the end of this spool rotate this flange make concentric mate here and make 10 millimeter offset one more mate we need top with the top plan <clears throat> now this is a three similar length okay let's save this first three inch pipe spool add some custom property here material weight and thickness thickness we make nothing weight add mass material we put uh, just CBOM 3 inch pipe spool assembly will be the description okay add the unit change the unit from here as we need the weight in the kilograms that's it now let's make the drawing and see how the BOM looked like isometric view here select this view already pre-selected go to tables and select bill of material actually I have already customized my bill of material okay now you will wonder how this cut length come here actually I have already cut make the one cut length uh, in the BOM all right so this right so how to get this length here if I open this pipe and look in the custom properties here you will see only the three description thickness material and this uh, thickness material and description weight and cut length I put in the configuration because you know when the length will change the the weight will also change right so that's why I keep these two con uh, properties in the configuration specific and this common pro uh, properties in the customs only in the top one so just how to make this different spools now click here just right click on this dimension and configure dimension here uh, first let's change the name of this configuration here I'll keep here mention SP1 now click boss right click on the dimension configure dimension here put sp2 and uh, put any dimension you want sp3 let's make it 1000 rename delete this hit ok now you will see our three configuration have already add, uh, added so if you want to get the table just click here go again give the table name any table you can give I just mentioned table only
there you will see save table view just click ok all right now you will see the table shows here when you click uh, show table the table will appear you can easily add more configuration here all right also you will see the sp2 length have 200 mil and the weight 2.2 meter uh, it is not showing here because this is not uh, rebuilt this let's rebuild this one now it's all rebuilt go back okay so for the 500 pipeline we get 5.6 weight for the 200 length we got the 2.2 kilo weight and for th uh, sp3 we got 11.2 uh, kilo weight for one meter length all right so this all pipes set now now let's change the length here just click here you will see this dialog box come here automatically just select this sp2 see the length is automatically updated with the shorter length and the sp3 it will come longer length now let's see how it looks like in the drawing all right so we got everything as we required okay 500 200 one meter length everything but the part number it's still showing here as a comp uh, as a uh, what we have uh, name of this component but we want to keep the same as a dash blank okay so let's open the part again pipe right click and go to the properties here we have selected by default it is selected document name but we need a user specific name click user specific name and add dash yeah the same thing we do with the all configurations add dash also for this add dash save close all right so you saw the part numbers the file numbers have gone and it's come with the dash so you can also make another views top front whatever okay when you press the right click then this uh, a quick menu will open with the four options just move here with the balloons and do some annotations I hope guys you like this tutorial please uh, subscribe our channel Z Institute and for the more interesting videos and tutorial of the SolarWorks thank you guys bye